With U.S. unemployment claims topping 30 million, plenty of people across the country are struggling to pay their bills. And today, of course, the first of the month, many who are out of work are unable to make rent. Well, now tenants in cities across the country are organizing and calling on their state and local leaders to cancel rent for the duration of this economic slowdown caused by the coronavirus. ABC's Will Carr has this story. It's the first of the month, the time when so many start counting their dollars, making sure they have enough to pay rent, including Gabby Nam, who's been cooking professionally for eight years and recently lost her job at a Brooklyn restaurant. I'll be able to make rent next month, but after that, if unemployment doesn't kick in, then I'm definitely in trouble. 30 million Americans have filed for unemployment since mid-March, leaving many filled with anxiety, not knowing when they'll get that next check. That's sparking rent strikes across the country, from New York to Minneapolis to here in Los Angeles. I'm still left with the same choice of either I pay the rent and I'm left without nothing, no money for food or other essential goods. After losing his job in March, Manuel Antonio Rodriguez joined a socially distant protest in Los Angeles this week, asking the mayor to cancel rent for May. And so many of us here have had to make that decision, whether we're going to use up the little bit of money that we have on rent or whether we should save it for medicine, for food and other essential needs right now. So it's not a fight with the landlords, it's a fight with the banks who need to understand that they were bailed out about 10 years ago and now we need a bailout for the working people. Others like Alex Mercier, who also lost his job in March, have teamed up with tenants in their buildings to forego their rent payments together. There are people that um, I've been talking to that are sick, that need their medicine and, you know, trying to force them to pay rent or putting them in a situation where they feel like they need to pay rent over, you know, their medicine is, is just ridiculous. But renters aren't the only ones struggling. Landlords have bills to pay, too. I, I have to rent to anybody, but I want to rent to nice people. So everybody that's in my complex, I adore. I'm still shy of April's rent on some of them. But I understand. I mean, they're usually great. Daryl Marshak owns a building with six tenants in Los Angeles. Maybe I got two months total of my mortgage if I have to come up with it myself. Not to mention water, power, sewage, uh, gardener. Across the country, there were patchwork policies for housing protection, creating widespread confusion. We need a uniform national moratorium on evictions and on foreclosures. So the, the very least that the federal government should do during a pandemic is assure each of us that we won't lose our home during it. Eight states currently have not implemented any statewide orders that would suspend evictions and foreclosures during the pandemic, according to Princeton. We don't want to create a financial cliff that low-income renters will fall off of once those moratoriums are lifted. So it's also essential that the federal government provide rental assistance. We're urging no less than $100 billion in rental assistance to ensure the housing stability of the country's lowest-income renters during this crisis. For many homeowners under financial stress, the federal rescue package signed in March known as the CARES Act allows up to a year to skip or delay mortgage loan payments. According to Black Knight, a data and analytics firm, more than 3.4 million homeowners will do just that, skipping payments for the immediate future. But others, without mortgages backed by the federal government, are left uncovered. Will Carr joins us now live from Los Angeles. So, Will, what should tenants who can't afford to pay their rent do at this point? Well, Lindsay, the best thing that anybody can do is actually sit down and talk to their landlord or their lender. These are tough times for everybody. So if you ex uh, if you explain your situation, they actually may be willing to work with you to negotiate uh, your rent moving forward. And wh what about those renters who are being threatened at this point with eviction? Well, we're hearing about that across the country. State leaders say they're already dealing with slumlords. People are threatening eviction on their tenants. The best thing you can do is to know your local and your state laws. These are different all across the country. So get online, figure out exactly what the laws are for you, because landlords have been known to tell you one thing, but the law may be the exact opposite. Lindsay. Some helpful information there. Will Carr, thanks so much.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.